Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing more Age of Wonders 3, continuing with our human uh, warlord campaign. And things are going pretty dang good for us. We got quite a bit of territory. We are working our way up to getting the mermen, hopefully. We got to take care of a bunch of undead up here. Uh, were we sending an army over there? Yes, we were. Yes, we were. So with the uh, combined army might, we should be okay. And then what was our main lord doing at this point? You ended up... No, that's not our main army. That's our necromancer guy. Uh, you're not our main army either. Where do we? What do we do with our main army? I don't quite remember. We'll have to just look. Army requires your orders. Uh, let's see. This is a trebuchet and then a couple things. Were we going to kill you with this army? I. I think you came from there, right? Why did I build a trebuchet over here? Well, let's do this. I'm just gonna go kill these guys with both of these armies, and then I'm just gonna uh, auto combat this. And I'm gonna be really mad if we lose someone. Uh, of course we lost someone, okay. Uh, but we explored the node, so we got that taken care of. Uh, is there anything else around here that we need to uh, get rid of? Like any other enemies? It doesn't look like it. It's kind of hard to see some of these sometimes. Uh, we did explore those ruins. All right, so then you guys are going to get back into there, and then you guys are going to come back over here. We should be good to go now for a little bit. Uh, click to end turn. Yeah, I think that's what we were going to go do with them. I would like to maybe put another town around here somewhere. Like, maybe right here on the water. Because there's a lot of berries and stuff like that. The only thing I'm not concerned of is... What is this? F. Uh, I don't know what that meant. Uh, but whatever's here, we might want to go take care of. That might be a spawner. I can't quite tell. Yeah, I'm hoping for a little more knowledge. Select production for Fossberg. So, this is our capital. You got a full stack army here. Uh, we could go use you somewhere else. I might want to just upgrade some of these buildings while we're here. Pillar gives us pikemen resistance. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will go bop that out. Money's a bit of a sketchy, uh, we're in a bit of a sketchy spot here. So what did you end up producing here? Hmm. Probably the archer. Do you have walls? Yeah, you have, uh, stone walls. So we're good there. So I think in that case, I'm just going to have you do uh, merchandising for now. Because we need a little bit of money. Army requires our orders. This is the guy that was actually just going to merge up with this army, apparently. Oh, I think we just started popping out Cav here. Isn't that what happened? I think that's what happened. Because I think we just started popping out some Cav here. So you guys are just going to chill. Confirm army movement. Where are we going with you? We were going up here. Oh, I think we were going to send him over here to deal with the mermen. Okay. It's been like another four or five days since I recorded this. You know. Uh, probably could actually finish that and got some webbing, but whatever. Uh, just because, you know, how my recording schedule and stuff like that. That's usually how things end up working out. Um, what are you currently bur uh, building your merchandising? We pr could use another unit here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't really care. Sackleberg grew into a city. Congrats. You produced an archer. Summer of love in Kenton. Okay. Uh, and then Sackleberg got a mounted archer. Oh, it did mounted archer. Okay. What are we doing up here? By the way, you are producing the Warhol. Yeah, because we're about to get like legit knights popping out up here because we got the uh, thing here too. Although we have to. No, nah, nah, it wasn't that. There's something in there that it was really uh, going to make our cab legit. So that's where we're going to pop out. So we're going to end up with three armies up here. Sounds good. I'm, I'm okay with that. Hi, what are you? A legendary. You think we could do legendary? Maybe. I mean, there's one way to find out. We can go check. When is our other dragon done? One turn. Okay. So then let's go put you... I'm assuming the dragon probably has really good movement. So we could probably do something like this. Skip your turn. And then we'll put the dragon there and we should still be able to move just as far. Fossberg ended up doing that one turn thing. I think I'm just going to keep building all these buildings, man. I don't know what the hospital does, so let's do the that. I just... I don't think we need this right here. Unlock the production of items. What items? Like a sword? Actually, that might be what it is. You can produce like better swords and stuff like that. Which actually sounds kind of good. 
I think about that. Mana generation is great. So we need to start doing some mana generation. Lands around the target city tremble. Units that belong to the enchanted city suffer negative 500 happiness. Uh, clears the skill book. Raise militia or authority. I think we're just going to keep doing authority of the uh, sword. Yeah, just keep popping out authority of the sword, I suppose, right? Oh, select. Oh, it's already done. Never mind. Mm. We could do it here. What about our new one? Doesn't really put anything in the borders. This one does, but I need to go clear that one out. Um, That one's not a human one, so I guess it doesn't count. Same thing there. That one doesn't really give me anything. This one doesn't really give me anything. It's just one of these things where it's like, I guess I'm just going to use it here, because I... Where else am I going to use it? <laughs> uh, I have the stuff, you know. Watchtower. Oh, that's just a watchtower. Hmm. 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 All right. It's like uh, production for Kenton. I think you're pretty good right here. We probably want to keep heading east. Highdale? Someone's city. Might want to go put another city down here, too. But I think for now, I'm just going to go merchandise. Because I think you're good. You already got the stone hall, too. Maybe we could use another archer here. You know what? You know what? You know what? Give me another archer instead. Because we got the walls. Yeah, I like that. Steckelberg. Probably merchandising. Because I don't know I care about. What's your happiness? You're happy. I'll go do some public bass. I'll do some public baths because we have some money. Now, you guys definitely need some, need some public baths and some hospitals and stuff like that. So, we'll do a hospital. It's going to take a while, but that's fine. Flower Rock Citadel. Flow Rock. Oh, yeah, that heals. We'll do that. Shrine doesn't give happiness right now. Just mana. Okay. West Rig. Actually, all these things I've been building, and this is the one I really want to be building stuff in. Because we want the Hall of Shivery. Because we currently have the Stables of Vigor. And so popping out knights in this area would just be amazing. And then we also want the Riders Hall. I'm gonna do the Riders Hall. You guys. I I want my vassalage. I want my I want I want my vassalage. I want my vassalage. Cancel! Cancel! Merchandise! Cancel everything, everyone! Cancel everything, everyone. Merchandise. I need, I need, I need this alliance, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're good. So, close. You forge an alliance with the dwelling of Merman. Merman. Cool. Is this another dwelling of Merman? I actually don't know. What? You have uh, baby krakens. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're so cute. So, they're mariner. They're swimming. Can he climb on water? This creature haunts the nightmares of sailors. Its tentacles shatter planks and crush uh, mass. Units does plus six against ships and bark units. Nice. When traversing the water, spanning creatures see should be feared the most. When encountering fleet nearby land. I don't know if he enters land or not. Well, we'll find out when we get to um, ally them and put them in my territory. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked for that. So, I guess I'm more concerned now about killing these guys. You produced a uh, dragon? Nice. Uh, change. <sighs> Give me a bro of fire, I suppose. And then, Mr. Gold Dragon, you're going to go join this army. So, that means we have two freaking tier 4 dragons. And a tier 3 cav. A tier 3 monster. And then, a, just a priest. <laughs> Poor old priest. Just a priest. Just a priest. All right. Start working your way over here. Good, 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 good. You are here to go explore. Probable victory. So, Dracone, uh, Manicore Rider, and then a bunch of Berserkers. I don't think these guys shoot from range, right? They actually have Frost Weakness, and they're strong against fire. And they don't have ranged. The Manicore... Uh, is fire damage. They're all weak against frost. But he doesn't have ranged either. 
Why did you not fully heal? I feel like you should have healed. We actually have a monster hunter here, too, who's going to be better against this, because this counts as a monster, right? I would think so. I would think so. We got trebuchet, and we got two archers. And then, don't you also have a crossbow? Yeah. So, technically, we have three range units. You are my dwarf rogue. Okay. Let's do it. I think we should be fine on this one. He's not going to attack me. We got some crazy freaking range here, so... The point is, we're probably just going to try outranging him. I think is going to be the goal. I should have maybe paid a little more attention about their range, but that's fine. Do something like this. This is the mounted archer. You come up like that. The knight, you can come here. The berserker, I guess, is going to be a step behind everyone. And then the monster hunter, I don't know, I just made the noise, is going to come up here. Uh, what kind of spells we got? Eh, we got the crap ones. Actually, what do you have? Rains down armor-piercing blades covered in poison. Deals 12 and 8 damage to the target. Deals an additional 2 damage against armor units. That seems amazing. That also seems amazing. Blinding units cannot target units more than 1 hex away. I mean, they're they're not ranged units, so that's fine. Uh, 20%, 40%, 40%. Considering I have literally yet to get a single one of those working, I think I'm just going to pass. And let's just do the straight damage. That's 5 to 7, 2 to 4. 6 to 10, 6 to 8. 6 to 10, 6 to 8. 6 to 10 to 6 to 8. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to do this. That was kind of nice. That was, that was kind of nice. That, that was kind of nice. Unfortunately, I can't cast another spell, but I can cast spells for me next turn. All right, uh, just in turn. They should hopefully stay where they're at. They totally stayed where they're at. So I need to move two. Wait, why can't I trebuchet? Not enough action points. Gotcha. You require more action points than we currently have. Then you guys have really bad movement. So we're just gonna once again, just move right outside their territory. The goal is to get them moving up to fight us. If they don't move up, we're going to blow them up. You come here, and then you're my berserker. Hmm. I think I'll have you hold the flank. Then, potential spell. Once again, can berserk. We got plenty of points. First strike and pull arm ability seems really, really good on someone. It's only two turns, though, right? Uh, until the end of combat. Additionally, affected units will get two times the normal bonus to defense and resisting when guarding. That seems, I mean, pretty freaking nice, dude. Two armor and first strike and pull arm. So if they run up here, they're just going to take a lot of damage. I think I would rather wait and see where they move. Phoenix Warrior seems like a good idea, too, just in case someone when it goes to attack me. Uh, you guys can't get mind controlled, so that's worthless. Um... Steadfast, you can't die, but that's just two turns. Lion's Courage gives you extra strength. Now, does strength only count, I think, in melee damage, right? All right, well, let's just save points. Hopefully, they don't move. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Seriously? Wrong button. Told to 18, not bad. It's like, are you actually going to fire? <laughs> any day now. Any day now. Uh, I think you need to move up. Oh, too much. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this. And then just guard. I really want Overwatch, man. Uh, the nice thing is the new Age of Wonders game, uh, Planetfall, actually has Overwatch in units, which is just awesome. Can't throw fireworks out of range. Can shoot acid darts out of range. Can shoot darts out of range. Assassin strike out of range. Uh, sabotage out of range. 
It's too forward. It would be right here. The problem is, then we're taking quite a bit of hits. I think I'm gonna do this. And then we're gonna look here. So that's six to eight. But we wouldn't want to do that anyways. That's not as much. Like, anything that's fire, we probably just want to avoid right now. And then that's only point blank range. With a 40% chance to dazzle. Is this a one use only? Might be a one use only. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna do it. If I can stop one of these guys from hitting. He resisted. Frick. The dazzle would have been nice. Let's guard there. I'm gonna guard here. I am gonna go ahead and uh, last stand my hero. Cause she is probably the most open right now. And then I'm gonna put you up here. Just so you're nearby guarding. And I think we're done. If they just want to stand still again, I'm cool with that. Ah, dang it. Remember, I got first strike here. Where the freaking hell is my first strike? What the frick? Where was my first strike? Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? What the hell? Okay, that pisses me off because essentially we just got wrecked because uh, our first strike just apparently didn't count. All of that crap for something that's just complete bull. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad, dude. I'm so mad. Like, are you freaking kidding me? We're gonna do more damage to them than they will to us. So that was worth it. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. So we lost our hero. So we gotta decide whether or not we wanna actually lose our hero. This is gonna do 11 damage. This hopefully will get the kill. Of course it didn't get to kill. Of course it didn't get to kill. Why would it get to kill? I should have used the monster hunter because he would have done more damage. This is flanking. And here's the other thing. I literally didn't retaliate on any one of those attacks. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But not a single one of my attacks actually retaliated. Why? I have no idea. I think we actually lost this combat. Pretty sure we lost this. That's our dude. Can you sprint? Then do this. You come here. Dang it. Kill him, so he's got one guy left. Uh, Alright, well, that sucks. And then you're probably gonna kill one of my dudes. My trebuchet. That's fine. We'll live with it. Our rogue died. We'll live with it. I'm, j I'm just really mad about that. I'm just really, really mad about that. So we got a uh, Orc Priest and a Raptor. Both are pretty good. The downside is we just lost our hero for pretty much nothing. I mean, the Raptor's okay. Both of these are tier two. They're not super, super happy. Did we lose a bunch of items? Yeah, we did. So can we just send these items to you, I suppose? No, probably to you. Yeah, probably to you. And I'm actually going to send you then to this guy. And then let's move you over here. And we kind of want to put a city over here. We never cleared this party out. Might not be a bad idea. Hi. I want you. 
Come over here. Yeah, and I'm gonna have you guys just kind of chill over here, and we're gonna kind of get these guys all matched up together. Uh, actually, I could have freaking probably grabbed the haste berries this turn and then been able to cross the water. Okay, well, that was a dumb idea. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we'll live with our hero dying because I'm tired of reloading on this game, so it's okay. It's just, it was really, really weird how we put first strike on our hero and somehow didn't do anything. But it wasn't our main hero, so that's all that matters. Now, the thing is, I kind of feel like I want some more defense here. So I might put a couple of gold uh, wyverns here in a second. Kenton grew into a town. How's our money? Money's doing pretty good. Um, do we need something over here? Happiness is kind of iffy. It's like smack dab in the middle. Storehouse gives us extra people. I'm good with that. And then Molden. This one, we definitely want something that's going to give us happiness, which would be the hospital. Okay, and there's all our money. But we're making enough money per turn that we should be okay. Man, I'm mad about that. I just don't understand. Not only do we not first strike, but I'm fairly certain we didn't even retaliate. Like, it seriously looked like we didn't even retaliate on any one of those attacks. And maybe I'm just completely wet. Maybe I saw something different. You guys have to tell me. I'm gonna have to, like, go watch it and just double check on it. It just, that's what it felt like. And that's a bad feeling, man. So, hi. This is a human city, right? Do you want a human city? No. But I can't do a dragon city. What do you guys like? You guys like barons. You hate arctic and blighted. These are volcanic. Which would be dwarves, probably, and humans. And, and dragons. So, I think I'm just gonna put a human over here, though. Okay, merchandising, yeah, 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 yeah. So go give me a human settler. And then when you're done, we're gonna go put a city down over here somewhere. Um, probably somewhere that's gonna actually get the haste berries and the lucky clover field. Yeah, probably like right here. Probably. Fill in the borders a little bit. I mean, that's also plus 30 production, which is pretty crazy good. And then we're gonna have to clear this out, which is gonna give another 20 production. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good production when we finish it. Uh, you're a mythical wizard tower. I like that. I like that. But I definitely need you to come uh, join this. He's got another effing army up here. <laughs> uh, I wish... I wish your heroes didn't die quite as easy. If there's one thing that I wish the game changed a little bit is that your heroes didn't die quite as easy as they do. Because it just definitely feels like sometimes they're just like, nah, we're just going to die. Domain Invasion and Westerig. Okay, we're aware of that. You grew the items, 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 okay? And the Stackelberg grew into a town, okay. So what I wanna do is go grab here, look at you, and then let's put on some of these items. So the bow, you're gonna keep uh, the Arkish bow, which makes sense, because you're an uh, elf. Uh, put on the boots, and then uh, we actually don't need both of these. So let's send you then instead to him. Befriend animal, shoot longbow, walking, projectile resistance. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. How do we level you up anyways? Can we see what we gave you? I think we gave him Befriend Animal, right? You know, maybe I should take my undead hero. And bring him over here. Because we're about to be fighting a lot of undead. So, kind of seems fitting to maybe use him in these combats. <laughs> Because this is going to get a little nasty. So, basically stealing some of the undead seems like just a great idea. I also got to kill these guys, too. I think I'm going to start with these guys. Very likely combat. We always manual with our main group. We always manual with our main army. Always manual with the main army. Alright, actually, we've not got to use the dragons yet, either, so... You know, trebuchet would be kind of nice here. It would be kind of nice. Do you have range? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, if only they knew what was about to go for them. Oh, if only they knew. Oh my gosh. Who is the nightmare? I ask you, nightmare. Who is truly the nightmare? <laughs> uh, it is I, he says. It was I. We also have webbing touch on some of these guys, which, whatever. Oh, what? What? 
Let's do this way. Fortunately, did not get a kill here. Oh, I'm riding a dragon too. Hello. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Can I get a kill? Range penalty. Still another range penalty. But only three to five on here. The problem is these guys aren't particularly, like, I think the spirit is really good against undead, if I remember right. 25 to 37. I think let's do it this way. Murder you. And then we're just going to walk up here and punch you. And then you're going to stay in the zone of control. Tiger is going to die with against whoever he hits. Oh, they have lifesteal. Oh, didn't realize that. that. That could be a problem. What is this? Oh, seduce. Ooh, fire breath. Oh my god, yes. So let's go here. We can't hit the nightmare with fire breath. Kind of makes sense. Good night. All right, so we got two units basically left. <sighs> and just imagine that we probably would have lost a unit if we autoed it. We might still lose the unit. Let's not get too cocky. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Hi, Mr. Wolves. I'm here to kill you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a fearsome attack. I don't even know what that does, but oh, my gosh. These dragons. Yeah. Yeah. I like this army. I like this army. It's going to be quite good for us. It's going to be quite good for us. Okay, so you guys are all together. We essentially want to get down here. And we want to chill for a little bit because we want to get enough HP so we can kill the dwarves without too much issue. Uh, we still need to uh, probably clear some of this. No, this is all explored. Nah, that's all good. That's all good. This one needs to get cleared. I wish there was a marker, like giant red on top or something when you hadn't done it. Uh, mana core, please. Definitely. That actually means we have new units we can build. What haven't we got? The Warbreed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it's amazing looking. Yeah. So we can just produce a giant freaking Warbreed. It looks like a giant ogre, dude. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're a cute, cute little thing, man. Uh, so he's got 20 melee strength. Or 20 wall crushing. Okay, walking regrowth. He heals 20% each round tactical combat. All right, that, that seems fine. That seems fine. Pretty okay with that. Too bad he's not regular, too, because how amazing would that be? I want to compare that to our giant. What does our giant do right now for damage? 22. So he actually does a little bit more, but he is leveled. Because he is a recruit. No, actually, he's not leveled. He's still tier one. He has fast healing as well. Hmm. So, actually, it seems like our ogre is just way better. Yeah, kind of seems that way. Kind of seems that way. Don't want to build one of these? How long until... Where's our spell? Go away. Ten turns. Ugh. Ugh. A little slower than I wanted. I don't know. He's got 80 HP, though. I'm pretty sure our ogre only has, like, 60. Yeah, he only has 66. So he has a lot more HP then. Kind of makes sense because we're doing the whole tanky uh, play anyways. I think I will produce one of these guys. And then production for Kenton. Just go ahead and merchandise. Right. Now we need the public vows. Keep giving me happiness over here. Yeah. Confirm army movement. You are going to get over here. Somewhere. I might actually have you help out next turn. Item has arrived. Inventory. You got this. You got the blowpipe. You got the black wand. You got a lot of options, basically. He's kind of my collector of crappy items. <laughs> you know. Uh, if only my hero hadn't gone and gotten themselves killed. What about giving the fireworks maybe to our human? You leveled up. Nice. Nice. What can we build here now? Fire Lair, Fire Dragon Ward. 
Enemies that attack the Dolan are struck by fireballs each combat round. Build. Build. Race governance, four. So we can either... City upgrades that improve specific unit type. Rank two gives additional ranks instead of one. Or the builders all give an additional 15% production. 15 production. I don't actually like the ones that give ranks, so give me extra production in every city. And then you want to join me. A level five dreadnought. I actually want you. For 300 gold. Hi. Hold up. If we canceled you... What if then we also canceled you? Hmm. Can I get him next turn? I think he'll offer it next turn. You offer a tribute. Oh. Never mind. Where's my guy then? Hi, I need you. No! 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 Frick. Confirm army movement. Let's go put you here. You can't reach it this turn. I don't think you can reach here either this turn. I think we're both gonna have to wait till next turn. Yeah, we are. Confirm army movement. You are coming to kill here. But let's go wait in town for a minute. And skip. Item has arrived. Congrats. In turn. Crap! Got just enough money, just the wrong time, man. Seriously. Couldn't have, like, given it to me, like, two minutes later. Whatever, 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 whatever. So... Should probably wrap this episode up. Hi. Race governance leveled up. This is for the Tigerin. So, hurl net or observatories give additional 10. Give me the observatories, even though I'm pretty sure we don't have any observatories. Uh, join me, Mr. Dreadnought. Yeah. Minecrafted. <laughs> I think because we got the, the Dreadnought. So, what do I want to do? I want to look at you. 20 skill points. Now, you should have all about, like, healing stuff. Target-friendly infantry or pikemen gains fire, blunderbuss, sabotage, or throw net. That actually seems really nice. Because we could do that with phalanx. We could give, we can merge him up with some phalanx and do some really nice stuff. Imperial authority. All units gain 200 happiness. Okay. Guardian flame. Restore 10 HP to the friendly unit. And then gets fire protection. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Cure disease, emergency repair, that's what I was thinking. Flashbang. Mana infused flashbang that bursts apart. Huh. Huh, I kind of like this guy. Yeah, I kind of like this hero. Sabotage, wall climbing, weapon kit, wizard hunters. I think I might grab weapon kit. I don't know why I really care. Flashbang's not that much damage. Wizard Hunters. Now, we'll do Weapon Kit. And then, is there anything else that is jumped out at me? Yeah, we'll, we'll Guardian Flame. Invention? Eh. Rapid Reload. Reloads target friendly machine unit or musketeer. Reloading takes the target's abilities off cooldown. I don't think we really have anyone that, like, we're dealing with cooldown right now. Wall climbing, vision range upgrade, true sight. I'm actually gonna give you true sight. And then let's do some HP. Put you up to 60, give you an extra defense to uh, do... You are actually all about that range strength. Yeah, you got some really crazy good range strength. You got two points left, so we'll do range strength one more time. Yeah, 27 range strength, dude, that's pretty legit. I'm gonna put you down here. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up taking this army here. What do we got here? We got Cav Cav, Halbeard, Longsword, Archer, and Phalanx. So we want the Phalanx in with this guy. We want the Halbeard, right? And he's tier one. These are all tier one. The Cav is tier two. I don't really care about the Cav. So I'm basically trying to build myself another army here. So I want a Trebuchet. That's a builder, not a Trebuchet. Give me a Trebuchet. Probably give me another... Yeah, uh, definitely want a knight. And let's figure it out from there. Stackelberg needs production. You just finished my settler, and you're going to go settle up here somewhere. Good. I should put you here.
We might have to go fight that. We might have to go fight that. Yeah, I might have screwed that one up. Stackelberg, just go get me some money, please, for the time being. Uh, merchandise. Yeah, production for Molden. Merchandise for now. You should be pretty happy. Yeah, they're pretty content. Dwarf Comet gives us extra production income. Sweet, nice. And then production for our Fire Lair Dragon Dudes. We don't have enough money for this. I'll do the ward. I'll do the ward. Okay, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I will see you guys next episode. Goodbye, everybody.